In this video, we will talk about how to merge different plots. So let's open this one. Okay. Means I would like to have a plot like this that it is having all the three plots they are joined together in a landscape format so i will start with my data let's discuss the data first here i'm having three sheets and all the three sheets are having different ftir data this one and this is the third sheet which is having this data now first let me plot all the data so the sheet first let's select all this and go to the y stake option and stake lines by y offset and we are having our graph one from the sheet one similarly go to sheet two select the data and then click the plot and we are having the graph two here and then go to sheet three and select the data and plot is y offset and we are having the graph three here so now we are having all the three graphs here we would like to merge all these three graphs so graph one graph two and graph three so we will have to merge them in a landscape format so when one of the graph is selected and we click the graph menu here then the merge graph window will uh, option will appear if the data will be selected like this one if the data will be selected and we click the plot then we will not we will only having the plot option not the graph option so select one of the graph and go to graph here and then merge graph windows it is having some if a default value is there then default it will do this will be the last use the one we would have used the last time and here we will have to open the dialog so it's better to go to the open dialog and here we are with the merge graph menu in the merge graph we are having the very first a specified so here we are having active page all in active folder and some other options so we will select this one all in active folder because we are having these graph one two and graph three over there sometime the order is not right so we will have to make them an order in order to make them an order we will have to select the specified and inside the specified i can change the order inside the specified i can change the order i can delete uh some of the plots from it and i can go on with my editing so then i will have to these two are selected by default and now i will have to decide here how many number of rows will be there and how many number of columns will be there so for the number of rows is i want to uh, have only one row so i will select one here and the number of columns are to be three because i am arranging it in uh, a landscape format now here the option if i look at them then they are you can say stretched one so i will have to select the key layer aspect ratio and i will select this one now they are in a decent way then i will have to come here and i will decide the horizontal gap the vertical gap the left margin right margin top and bottom so this one is the top this is the bottom and then this is the left margin the right margin so they are not that important because we can drag or figure so if we don't change any value here no problem 
then in the page setup we will not change anything in the scale elements we will keep them the same and i will just click ok and now my plot is here let me increase a little bit the size of this one by holding the control key and scroll it okay here we are with our plots so now these are completely editable and we can do uh, editing over here as well let's say for example Mm, the first thing that I do is to make the lines here so I have already told this thing in uh, other videos as well but let me uh, do them quickly click here and then go to the grid option and just select the opposite here and here and just apply now they are here so I'm having the lines here similarly i can select the scale from 400 to 4000 so this one from 400 to 4000 and i say okay now my scale is fine and here i'm having the uh, the length the width of these and let's say i select here for all of them is three so they are here now i have almost designed my figure and now i want to apply on all of them i select here and copy and i just go to scales i apply scales on them and i apply scale on this one as well so they have been rescaled now the lines if i copy the style format here then i can paste the style format here i can paste the scale format here now one thing we will have to take care here that inside a copy format i will not have to use the all because if i use the all then all these figures will come one above the other so i will have not to use that one now as i will be merging all these plots like this the y scale is here so i will keep only one y scale here and I will merge this one with this so for this I will have to delete these values similarly here and here and now I just go here and go to the line and text and I select here none and I select here none as well and I apply and it is just a line now this style I can copy I can copy the style format and I come here and I can paste this format so this one has been automatically done I can drag here this one and now it is overlapping with this one similarly I can move this one with the help of arrow and as the line becomes yellow then it means it is properly overlapped now here I will have to take care of one thing that the two values are collapsing here I can see this that they are collapsing here so I will just do a trick and the trick is that in the scale this one I will keep it 3999 so it is just one less from that and you can see that now it has not changed the scale but only that last value has been skipped so here similarly here as well i will have to remove the last value and just write 399 instead of 4000 and now the values are fine now is the sizes are the same so they are having a good overlay and now my figure has got some shape and what else I can do here 
is to keep only one web number here so let me delete this one and delete this one and here i can just change this one to transmittance in percent i have changed that value as well now just increase the size of it and double click this one control a and control b so it has become bold similarly this one uh, it is control a and now control b and i can increase the size of it as well the next thing that i want to do here is to increase the size here so i can increase this size as well so that it is to be readable and i can double click here and i go to the scale and to the line in to the tech labels and here i go to the format and i click bold and okay i just apply this one and it is fine here i do the same that over here i selected the font 31 and here i would like to have the same uh, 31 here so this is 31 and this is 31 and now i will have to make it bold and i apply and it is there now they are so much close to each other so i can go to the scale and i can increase this one up to 100 even an ftir this scale is not important so i will have to uh, remove this scale and here i will have to change this one from a line and text to a line so remove this one and remove this one and click ok so this is transmittance this is fine so i can you know, select this one here now i will not have to copy the format because i have just changed the scale here and i go here and just quickly i can do the line index inside the tick labels here i can change these axes so in the tech labels go to the format and here change to 31 and here make it bold and apply ok similarly do the same practice here as well go to font go to 31 and then make it bold here so here almost we are done with the figure we can insert some text here and the text is for example i want to have a here now i can increase the size of it and i can double click control a and i can make it bold so once this one is done i can control c and v here and i can drag it back here to this position and then another control v and i can drag it here rather than i can adjust you can see the scale of this one in order to move it down so this is a this is b and similarly this one is c so i can do this one now with this one i can do some tactics that this one seems awkward here either i write them manually as i did in the previous videos and uh, there is another way double click this one and make it in a double line configuration is they are five so it will not be much uh, in a good way let me try this one apply so now they are like this is these samples if the legends are the same then i can change this thing um, i can make it in one line 
let's say for example this one I just control X in here I paste and I apply so now the legend seems a bit reasonable here so I can paste it here and I can reduce the size by control shift and the keys the arrow keys I can apply and this way I can manage this similarly the other legend I will have to try and similarly this legend as well and now I have merged the graph similarly I can adjust the scale here by clicking this one as it is colliding uh, at the top so I can just change the scale here uh, instead of 525 I can make it 550 and then it will be fine okay now here it's this so this way we can merge a number of graphs into one graph we can do the horizontal or the vertical alignment of this thank you for watching the video